Hi guys, if you are watching this video, you are probably having some difficulties in your speaking skills. In this video, I am going to guide you and I am going to provide you some basic ways or you can call them as tips or some examples that will correct you while speaking English and it can improve your skills as well. So, come on, let's get started. The first common mistake, you focus too much on grammar when speaking. Of course, accurate grammar will ensure the standard of your sentences and somehow it will prove that you have learned English methodically. And this will make sure your audience will be impressed by seeing this. If you think that each and every time you have to use grammar in between the phrases or the sentences, then it can tangle your fluency. If you use complex grammatical phrases or sentences or words, it will make it more difficult, it will get more tangled and you will not be able to cope up that from where to start it and from where to end. And about the topics, if you are going to talk about any kind of topic or if you are trying to communicate with someone regarding something, you will be getting puzzled up in that portion as well. So, without focusing on grammar, try to speak, try to put out your thoughts, try to express yourself in a smooth manner. That will be the best thing regarding speaking because fluency is an essential thing in effective communication if there will be no flow regarding your communication regarding your speaking learner will hesitate he will not understand a single thing they won't be understanding anything because the questions what they are asking that will get tangled up so fluency matters regarding communication when you are communicating with someone or you are speaking something. So, you have to keep that in mind. So, always be clear that you have to speak fluently in a smooth manner. So, don't always think about grammar. That will get you in more trouble. Let's take an example to see what I am trying to get into you. What do you think about the importance of higher education nowadays? Oh, I think it becomes more and more essential. It will help us to get a well-paid job. In my opinion, um, only by entering university uh, um, can the number of uh, job opportunities for us um, um, definitely uh, will be increased. So guys, whom do you want to hear? A or B? Yes, of course A. Because I think A is much more suitable. Because as I have said earlier that fluency in effective communicative English is necessary. A have communicated more easier and expressed his or her thoughts in a more comparative way than B. Just keep in mind that you have to communicate in a soothing way. Keeping that in mind, just express your thoughts. That's the only thing you need to know. The second common mistake, you speak too fast. Here, I have a question for you guys. Do you think that fast speed equals high communication or high fluency? Or the faster you speak, the more you sound like a native speaker? Well, of course it's no. Because speaking fastly, that doesn't make you a good communicator. The most common thing you need to keep in mind is speaking clearly and coherently. That's the thing, that's the sign of speaking in a better way or making you a better communicator. In addition to that, faster speaking may result in making communication or even pronunciation mistakes. So, 
don't try to speak too fast when you are communicating. Let's take an example to get your ideas clear. Some of the most impressive orators in English speak very slowly with frequent pauses between words and sentences. Like Barack Obama is acknowledged to be a great orator. If you listen to Obama speaking, he speaks very slowly and frequently pauses, almost as if he is searching for just the right word. He also doesn't hesitate and falls back into um, filler words. So don't speak too fast. It will sound like you are communicating good in a good manner or people who are listening to you, they are acknowledging you that you can speak clearly. So don't get this false idea or false opinion about yourself. Try to speak clearly, slowly in a manner that is coherent and that makes your listener understand you. I have made two different videos on this particular topic as it was getting too longer, two different parts. I have limited my information up to here. If you want to know more about the rest of the points, you have to watch the next part of this video that we will upload next time or you may see upcoming video. Till then, stay tuned. Comment down below with your thoughts, with your comments that if you are liking this video, if you can relate this kind of topics to you, please like, comment, share and before leaving, do subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.